Hi friends, it's me, Simply Sherry. I help you organize your home, preps, and travel so that you can make life simple and special. Today we're in my kitchen and we are continuing my updated and organized kitchen series. We are going to declutter, clean, and organize that cabinet, which holds my food container. So let's get started. Okay, this cabinet is here to the left of my refrigerator and below my KitchenAid and toaster oven. Here's an overview of what it looks like now. And I got these containers from the container store. These are from Walmart. And then I have a command hook here for a lunch bag and there's another lunch bag inside. My kids are no longer in our house, but once in a while we have used this, so I still keep it here. Okay, the first thing we'll do is declutter and when I, by the way, when I chose these containers, I wanted ones that were white and I wanted ones with covers and I just wanted it to look tidy that way. For those of you who don't want a cover because it's too much trouble to access it, then don't get ones with covers. I know like, um, for my daughter when she was uh, not yet in college and I had changed this, these containers to these, she was okay with it. Now for my husband, he, he doesn't do well with lids, which is fine because most of the time he'll just, if he puts away the dishes, he'll just put all the containers here. He'll try to put them where they should be. It's okay. I just go ahead and do it. It takes me an extra 10, 15 seconds. So I organize it more for myself because I'm the one who's accessing more of the food stuff in the kitchen. It's main, I'm the one mainly in the kitchen that one, you know, those few times a week that my husband has to put stuff away. It's okay with me to take care of that. All right, and then let's take these out. So what I'm going to do is most likely just declutter per container because these are pretty much decluttered although I should probably get rid of more stuff but I don't know if I'm ready to um, and then we're going to or I'm going to clean the um, containers themselves by just washing them and then the organization part I probably just is when you configure the space and the put the stuff you're keeping into the containers and most likely I'll keep it the same because um, this, oops, sorry, this is working for me. Okay, so you just clear everything out like that and then let's get to the decluttering. So here I have kind of like what I consider prep stuff or unique things that I use every so often. So this is a, a burger maker and then this is something for my um, pitcher that I can make uh, tea with, so I like that. So I made tea and then you just set it out in the sun, that's really nice. And then I need takeout containers. So I got rid of all, most of my plastic containers and I switched them, switched them out with glass. But because I do have guests over or we have parties and we're Filipino and we love to take out food. So I just have to have ones dedicated specifically, specifically for takeout. And then I have had these containers forever. They're flat. I got them from the container store. They do well actually in the freezer. Um, I got rid of two, I think already, cause I can't even think of where they are, but I think because um, they might have been warped or had a, a gotten broken for whatever reason. Okay, so I just keep the ones here that they call it flat. And then I used to have a bacon container, but that bacon container never kept the bacon fresh. So you have to look at containers, like if the, the, the purpose for that container really isn't working and it's a bad container, let it go. I, I kept it for a long time because I thought it just makes the bacon look better. <laughs> but when I got a new, a new fridge, a new old fridge, which I've shown that um, fridge organization, and now I have a drawer specifically for bacon. I didn't need that anymore, so I got rid of it. Okay, so let's get this one here. Sorry for the camera stuff. Okay, all right, so these are my lunch stuff. Okay. All right, and this is probably nostalgia. Uh, these are like my kids' lunch containers. Uh, this is definitely nostalgia. Look at 
these are my my kids containers when they were like in grade school I'm not gonna let that go because whenever i become a grandmother their kids are gonna use that this one i actually keep because we like it and sometimes my husband will bring food this one thermos these were expensive so i keep these that's for soup and this also so my daughter had two of these thermoses uh, grandma and grandpa gave it to them gave it to her because uh, she loved uh, hot food like she would have soup one day and then have something else there that's hot like leftover um, food from dinner and then this was also for soup now I think I'm gonna finally let this go uh, well we've lost a spoon which is unfortunate but this is for soup and it doesn't keep it really that warm I just it's just a reminder of my daughter when she was in grade school Ugh. I don't know, I think I'm gonna keep it now. The dilemmas of decluttering. I mean, I have the space. I have still used it. Oh, look at me struggle. Okay, I don't know. All right. Does it fit? Yeah, it all fits, right? Because I know for sure I'm not letting go of these. Yeah, oh, that's why. Now I, rem now I reminded myself why I'm not decluttering that or letting that go because this will go to the grandkids too why even though it's missing a spoon i don't know so let me think about it all right these are the glass containers so i have a lot of these and i have a lot of leftovers right now in the fridge drawer but when they are not all used up they stack up and they still fit in that shelf so i just take off the cover i put the cover underneath um so that it will fit and then this is just left open yeah so it would look like this with the cover underneath and then it just stacked up versus looking like this all right these containers i'm this one i like a lot it's uh like a produce saver uh, i have two of them one is already in the fridge but these i was debating if i should let them go i'll just keep them for now as part of the takeout they don't fit in that container so i just keep them here okay and then these stack uh, they're the sterilite brand and let's see so yeah these are for the small containers i got a rid i got rid of a lot of the small containers and then these are produce for produce you know and like some of the lemon is cut up or avocado and oh that's supposed to be sorry that's supposed to be grapefruit lemon and then i have the onion one in the fridge and so i'm going to keep these yeah this is dusty definitely needs to be cleaned okay these are bags see if I can open them hold on okay so these are reusable sealable bags that I'm going to keep these are for sandwiches I'm going to keep and then brown bags I'm going to keep so although it's stuffed I wish it wasn't stuffed I can still open it sometimes I just have to manipulate it a little bit and these are this one I think I'm for sure going to declutter let's just put it up here okay so a lot of these are like utensil sets that my daughter had for lunch. Why we have so many is because I don't know. All right. Uh, this is from an old container where um, it was a glass um, container where it had utensils on top and this covered them. So throw that away. Okay, this goes somewhere else. Okay, this is still complete, so we'll keep that. Soup spoon, I think this is for, yeah, like the bamboo. Chopsticks, chopsticks. Keep that here, yeah, this probably goes in here. Yes, yes. Put that in there later. More chopsticks, oh my gosh. These go with my um, takeout chopsticks. Oh, okay, way too many chopsticks. Oh, this is for the thermos. Wonder if that should go in that thermos spot. Yes, I'll do that. This should go in camping. I think I kept it here because I'm missing the one. So if I'm missing the one, I don't know, I'm not gonna keep it. And then I used to put these into her bag so I can let these go chopsticks more chopsticks i do have a whole nother thing for chopsticks okay there's only one so i need to let this one go okay so i have two blue 
and they're complete. So I think my thought was I'm going to keep this same thing for kiddos. These, because I always like to have two. Okay, so this one's nice. And this one. Okay, I put it inside there. So, well, I mean, so I think this one I'm going to put. So I feel like the chopsticks are the ones that are too much. Let's see. Let's decide. Let me open them up. Okay, now I remember why we have all these because they're to go. So if there were all four of us at home or we're all together and we take a trip and we wanted to bring our chopsticks, so we have those four. And these are the two that she wanted to keep for herself. <sighs> well, I am getting rid of these. So I think I'm just gonna keep these. And they do fit. All right, so it'll look like this. I've washed the four drawers and put them here to dry a little bit, then I'll be wiping them down. And now I'm moving on to the containers here. I've washed this one, I used the dishwasher as a drying rack. So I just washed the four sides on the outside, then the bottom, then these have ledges, so clean the ledges, make sure to get underneath. Then I clean the four walls inside okay then the bottom then i'll take the lid and obviously wash the top and the bottom yeah sometimes i keep the labels because um i might be doing a video later and then i have to remind myself where i got the um, container and then I'll have the specific SKU SKU is that how you say it and these are not necessarily dishwasher safe yeah so you gotta wash these by hand okay then we'll wipe down the inside of the cabinet. It doesn't take long. For those two spoons, they belong to the thermos. They have a special spot for them. After I've decluttered and cleaned, and since I know now the containers that I want to use, I go ahead and um, configure it within this space, okay? Because like I said, I knew that I wanted white, I wanted something covered, and I um, went to the store and found the one that I want. Okay, and then here I put the medium size below the smaller size, and this one down here is the large size. And for these drawers, I've, I already had them, and so I tried them in this uh, in this space, and I liked how they worked. And when you put in an organizing system, you want to um, take note of it for the next month or so, if it's working for you, okay? And then if it is, then you, you keep it. If it's not, then that's when you make some um, changes. And so I wanted to keep the drawers over here to the right of this cabinet because that's where I have my, the lunch bag is over here on this um, command hook. Okay. So I kind of wanted to keep lunch stuff here because the bag is here. Okay, and then I put lunch stuff there too. And then this side is more of the food containers and stuff for leftovers. And luckily this container fits perfectly in here. At first I wanted to, um, I tried to put it into this large container, but it was taking up too much space. So then I thought, why don't I just use that container since it's large enough to put other containers in it. So it works out. All right, so now that I've configured the space with the different containers, I'm gonna go ahead and put the stuff in that I'm keeping. These are the snapware 
glass containers. You can get them anywhere. I got them at Costco and also Amazon. And any products here, I'll put a link below in the description box. And then also in my Amazon store, what I'm doing is I'm doing a whole idea list with um, that go with the video that I'm making. So you'll see one that will say um, food containers. Okay, this is easy. That's one for now. Now, you may not want to get a whole bin to just put in one container, but I'm keeping it um, because I might put more flat containers in there. Okay, these are for the takeout, and trust me, they're so much more convenient. I mean, of course, you can always use Ziploc, but I found that for the type of food that we make, it's good to have containers like this because we do have food that has sauces. Right, for the lunch containers, I decided to go ahead and keep this just too sentimental right now. I can't let it go, which is okay, you know. If this place was too cluttered, then I'd have to really make a decision. And if I really want to let go of more, then I can make that decision later. Okay, this one. All right, this is heavy. Okay, let's put the stuff inside the drawer. These are the brown bags, sandwich bags, and reusable bags. Okay, these are the small containers. These are the fruit produce savers, I guess. And then the utensils. And then these labels I got from the container store. I'm gonna get my label labeler and put labels on them. All right, this one I'm labeling takeout. All right, takeout, flat, glass, prep, lunch, utensils, bags, produce, small. That's how I declutter, clean, and organize my food containers. I hope you enjoyed this video of decluttering, cleaning, and organizing my food containers cabinet. Let me know in the comments below what you need to let go of today and hit the subscribe button and click the bell notification and join me on this journey as I help you organize your home, preps, and travel so that you can make life simple and special. Bye.